Hello, we're going to continue our series of videos about Fourier and this time we're going to talk about how to find the Fourier series of a function, the piecewise defined function. So a function that is also as well periodic with a period of t and that's defined as different functions over different intervals. So to define this function we need to know each of these functions and the points the point the point where it begins and the transition points from function one to function two, function two to function three, and the end. And we need the period as well. So I want to talk about a concrete example. Let's say the function absolute value of x. We can write it as minus x. This is minus x. And I want to treat the case from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. So minus x from when x is between minus 2 pi and 0, and x when x is between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so in the previous video we we knew how to find these coefficients a n b n a zero and how to do the sum so we basically knew how to find our Fourier series for one function so what we did was integral from zero to t of the function times the cosinus now we have to do this same step but we have to split the integral we're going to integrate from zero to the first transition point our function our function 1 times cosine is then we're going to integrate from our first transition point to the second transition point and then from our last transition point to t so let's look what the code is so here we're going to do it for our specific case I've already defined the period because you agree with me that this this function has a period of 4 pi and it begins at 2 pi and the transition point is 0 so here I've defined a matrix because it's a matrix of one element this time but if you want to define a function a piecewise function within four intervals then you're going to have uh, three transition points so this is going to be a matrix like a column vector of the, all the transition points of your matrix and this is very useful and then I have the beginning of my function minus super and the period of my function and here is the first function that is going to be defined from the beginning until the transition point and then the second function that's going to be defined from the transition point until the end so now we just and I also define the, the degree of approximation. Now we have to calculate just the a zero, the mean value. So it's the integral of f one with respect to x from the beginning to the transition point, and the integral of f two from the transition point to the end. And now the same applies for the a n, which is integrate the function 1 times this cosine with respect to x from the beginning to the first transition point and the same here and it's the same here just that we integrate multiply the function multiplied with a sinus instead of a cosinus as we did in the previous video and then the steps are the same we since when we calculated the a n and b n and a zero then all the rest is the same as in the previous video. All the rest of the code is the same until we reach the part where we plot the functions. So let's see what this looks like. I also added this because this line okay so let's just talk about this line. I also added this line because it's useful if you want to know what the whole 
um, show you a series looks like before you do the sum. This. So it's all this before doing the sum. The sum over n. We know that this is always zero and this is always zero. So you have to write it down and simplify it if you want the analytic answer. So let's look at the graph. So here the function is in red, and we see that from minus 2 pi to the function is in red here, and from minus 2 pi to 2 pi, and the approximation is fairly good for only 5, the sum from 1 until 5. So everything works so what would happen if we wanted to uh, to I don't know uh, plot a function that is defined as tr three different functions or even more well if you want more function let's just talk about the first case so if you let's say we're gonna plot the function minus x x and 2 so it's gonna be like our absolute value, just that at the end we're gonna add a constant, add a horizontal line, a constant term. So let's say I'm gonna plot it, I'm gonna begin in minus 2, I'm gonna go all the way to 0 as minus x, and then I'm going to uh, define my function f2 as x. So I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to say up at value 2 for a while. So the changes in the code. So the changes in the code are like this. The a0, I haven't changed this part. Well, so this is the for one function. And then you just have to add another integrating term. You're going to integrate f3. And then here I integrated my first function from the beginning until the first transition point d1. And then function 2 from the first transition point. And this is not going to be the end now, but it's going to be the second transition point. And then the the third function I'm going to integrate from the second transition point till the end. Okay, so now we have to repeat the same operation for the an and the bn. I've already done it, so we should be good to go. Let's see what it gives us. taking a little time okay so we see that it's it's correct so here is the function it, it behaves as an absolute value and then it stays constant for a while and then it's a periodic function so if you wanted to do this for more functions, you could do this same same operation over and over again. But you could also use a for loop and define previously the number of functions that you want. And do a little of what we did here in the previous video, like ask for an input. It can be done, I just didn't do it for the video because it takes a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video when I'm, where I'm going to talk about how to do the Fourier series for functions that are more complicated.